Hola, buenas! Today we are exploring Elton Palace and the surrounding grounds. This was a weird video for me because two days earlier I was taking a surprise flight from Madrid to London to see my family, who did not know I was coming. Then the following day I was at a Chelsea football game and now I was at Elton Palace, which wasn't part of my agenda, I was just coming with my family. Not to mention I didn't know it yet, but I was about to come down with an awful flu, with fever and all sorts, including going totally deaf in my right ear. Anyway, towards the end of this day trip, I was really starting to ache all over. So it was a slow decline into illness. That being said, let's see what we can find in Elton Palace. Without any further ado, let's get started. Empathemos. Elton Palace is not far from where I'm from in South East London. Due to its history, it blends medieval architecture with art deco design. Originally, it was a royal residence enjoyed by the likes of Henry VIII, but over the years, it fell into disrepair until the 1930s, when a wealthy family who worked in the textiles industry transformed it into a luxurious mansion. The family was called the Courtaulds, and if you come to visit Elton Palace, you can hear all about them lavish interiors, innovative technology for the time, and glamorous gatherings characterized the Courtauld's era. It was interesting to hear from my grandma's perspective on this place. She loved seeing the medieval architecture, but was not keen on the Art Deco. As for her, it felt too familiar. For me, Art Deco is a thing of the past and is like stepping back in time. But for my gran, this is something common from the 1920s and 1930s and was around during her childhood in the 1940s. She therefore did not appreciate they had taken a part of history and blended it with something more modern. The way I saw it, the palace and the grounds were in ruins and they were simply renovating the palace. In the end, if they had not renovated it, it would simply be left as a ruin as opposed to a family home and now an attraction for people to see. They were not necessarily envisioning it as a future tourist attraction during this time and were simply building a family home. Today, it is managed by England Heritage and welcomes visitors to explore its rich history, exquisite architecture, architecture and tranquil gardens, offering a fascinating glimpse into both medieval and the 20th century. Amazingly, Eltham is still very close to London, but it certainly feels like we are in the countryside with so much space and greenery. <laughs> okay, this bit's quite funny, but mum told me not to touch anything, but I was encouraged to do so as it said it was allowed. So I thought I'd try and wind her up a bit. <laughs> You can see they've removed Spain from the map. That's because the English hate the Spanish. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's obviously a joke. I have no idea why they removed Spain from the map. And honestly, I wasn't going to keep this part in, but when I was doing my editing, it made me laugh so much that I decided to keep it there. And here is the old chapel. This seems to have stuck to the more authentic medieval architecture as mentioned before. They had a bunch of hats and costumes to try on. So of course I got involved. Cause I'm Batman. Good evening. May I 
take your place. The other guests are already in the drawing room. Mr. Corso has asked me to set up the cine projector with the latest newsreel, and then there'll be a tour of the If you'd be so kind as to follow me. The Courtaulds were also known for having unusual pets, such as ring-tailed lemurs named Mahjong, Fifi and Chico. These lemurs were allowed to roam freely around the palace and its gardens. They also had a pet tortoise, which Chico liked to ride around the estate. What a lovely day out. Have you ever visited Elton Palace? Let me know what you think of the place in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.